Prince Andrew's sex slave accuser Virginia Roberts dramatically said yesterday the royal knows exactly what he's done. A lawyer for Jeffrey Epstein's alleged victim also told how he'd made multiple requests to the Burr's pal Andrew to answer real questions. It came after an emotional day in court during which 16 of Epstein's alleged victims were given the chance to tell their harrowing stories. They spoke out at a hearing in New York to formally dismiss sex trafficking charges against Epstein, who killed himself in prison. Roberts, who now goes by the surname Jufri, alleges that she slept with the Duke of York three times, claims the royal vehemently denies. Outside New York's Southern District Court in Manhattan, Ms. Roberts said of Andrew, he knows what he has done and he can attest to that. He knows exactly what he's done, and I hope he comes clean about it. Andrew invite. Later on Tuesday Virginia's lawyer Brad Edwards said he had extended invitations to Andrew to answer real questions over the scandal. Lawyers also tore into the prince's denials over recent days, in which Andrew has insisted he had no knowledge of Epstein's perversions. Mr. Edwards said, with respect to Prince Andrew or anyone else who has made a gratuitous statement, if anyone who wants to come over here and talk to us and answer real questions that the victims have and that we have on their behalf we welcome that. I've personally extended that invitation to Prince Andrew multiple times. Any time we are ready and we have a lot of questions for him. Another of Virginia's lawyers. David Boyce, added, anybody can deny things in a printed statement. It's a different thing to come here, answer questions under oath, subject to cross-examination. Those are the kinds of answers that we are eventually going to get. Mr. Boyce added that a civil lawsuit against Epstein's alleged Madame Ghislaine Maxwell in 2015, in which they secured a substantial settlement, could prove to be a roadmap for prosecution against her. Brit socialite Maxwell, the daughter of disgraced publishing tycoon Robert Maxwell, has been in hiding since Epstein's death on August 10. The Sun Online has approached the palace for comment on the remarks made by Ms. Roberts' lawyers. Royal Denials Prince Andrew released a statement this week condemning his former pal, who he had been pictured staying with in New York in 2010. Buckingham Palace said the Duke of York would help authorities in any investigations into the disgraced millionaire. Andrew said, It is apparent to me since the suicide of Mr. Epstein that there has been an immense amount of media speculation about so much in his life. This is particularly the case in relation to my former association or friendship with Mr. Epstein. Therefore I am eager to clarify the facts to avoid further speculation. The statement added, I met Mr. Epstein in 1999. During the time I knew him, I saw him infrequently and probably no more than only once or twice a year. I have stayed in a number of his residences. At no stage during the limited time I spent with him did I see, witness or suspect any behavior of the sort that subsequently led to his arrest and conviction. A previous Buckingham Palace statement said, the Duke of York has been appalled by the recent reports of Jeffrey Epstein's alleged crimes. His Royal Highness deplores the exploitation of any human being and the suggestion he would condone, participate in or encourage any such behavior is abhorrent. In an unprecedented move, U.S. District Judge Richard Berman let Epstein's alleged victims give impact statements in person on Tuesday. The Manhattan U.S. Attorney's Office said it wanted to dismiss the indictment against the financier after his death. Mum of three Miss Roberts, 36, who flew from her new home in Australia, told the court, My hopes were quickly dashed and my dreams were stolen. She alleges that Maxwell helped the shamed financier carry out the abuse, claims Maxwell strongly denies. Ms. Roberts said, I am a victim of Jeffrey Epstein and Gisela and Maxwell and the dark and cruel criminal acts they committed against me, for years and years and years unstopped. In a previous court affidavit, she claimed she was lent out by Epstein to Prince Andrew, 59, for sex three times by Epstein in London, New York and his private Caribbean island. The royal denies any wrongdoing and the claims from Miss Roberts were later struck out of a lawsuit by a judge who branded them immaterial. Harrowing Accounts 
Miss Roberts joined a succession of women who stood up at the two and a half hour hearing and told how Epstein had trapped them into performing massages on him, before abusing them. Ten of the sixteen women gave their names, while six did not. Lawyers also read statements from seven other women. Victim Sarah Ransom said, he showed the world what a depraved and cowardly human being he was by taking his own life imploring prosecutors to go after Epstein's alleged co-conspirators, which allegedly include his sidekick Maxwell, she added, please, finish what you have started. Another woman, Chambi Davis, who said Epstein raped her on his little St. James Caribbean island, vowed to the court, I will not let him win in death. Victim Jennifer Arouse, who says Epstein raped her, added, the fact that I will never have a chance to face my predator in court eats away at my soul. Another accuser, Courtney Wilde, fighting back tears, said, I feel very angry and sad that justice has never been served in this case. Sex slaves speak out. High-profile women's rights attorney Gloria Howard also attended along with an unnamed client. Berman explained why he gave the women and their lawyers an opportunity to address the court. He said, the victims have been included in the proceeding today both because of their relevant experiences and because they should always be involved before, rather than after, the fact, Berman said. Epstein, who once counted U.S. President Donald Trump and former President Bill Clinton as friends was arrested on July 6 and pleaded not guilty to sex trafficking girls as young as 14. But the 66-year-old was found dead on August 10 in his cell at the Metropolitan Correctional Center MCC, in Lower Manhattan. An autopsy concluded that he hanged himself. Just two days before his death, Epstein signed a will placing all of his property, worth more than pounds for 70 million, in a trust. Davis said she was hired by Epstein to give massages and alleges the financier raped her the third or fourth time they met on his private island and continued to abuse her. Another woman, who chose not to give her name, said Epstein's death must be investigated. Holding back tears, she said, we do need to know how he died. It felt like a whole new trauma. It didn't feel good to wake up that morning and find that he allegedly committed suicide. Another unnamed woman said she came to New York to become a model and was victimized by Epstein. She said, I'm just angry that he's not alive to have to pay the price for his actions. During the hearing, attorney Mr. Edwards, who represents a number of the alleged victims, said, I have in the courtroom today 15 victims I represent and have represented over the years. There are at least 20 more who didn't make this hearing today.